Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Andrew Kine. I play in the band Grayscale. We're an alternative rock band from Philadelphia. And today, on behalf of Guitar World, I'm coming to you with some sick riffs. Yes, I think that's a pun. Definitely a pun. Uh, we're all here in quarantine today. Um, hopefully social distancing. And what better thing to do than learn a song together. Today I'm going to be teaching you all our song In My Arms from our new record Nella Vida. If you don't know this song, there will be a link in the description below. And if you do know this song, thank you for listening. I'm going to be breaking this song up into three different sections. Lead, rhythm, and the bridge. We're going to be playing an E standard. So, E, A, D, G, B, and E. I'll also have tabs floating in the screen somewhere at some point. There's one. As far as gear and tone goes, I'm going to be playing out of this Strat on the 4th pickup selector between the neck and the middle. Um, I'm playing out of a Kemper set to a 67 Deluxe Reverb by Fender on a clean tone. I'm going to be using a little bit of reverb, a little bit of chorus, and a lot of bit of compression. Also for leads, I'm going to be using this. This is the Bit Commander by Earthquaker Devices. It's a guitar synthesizer. Um, you could also achieve a similar tone by maybe using like an octave pedal. Alright, so let's get started. The song starts off with a big rung out open low E note, like this, with the Bit Commander on. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that fizzle out until the guitar stops picking up noise, and then we're going to slide from the first fret of the G string up to the 17th fret of the G string with the bit commander still running. So like this. Just like that. Then once we get to the 17th fret of the G string, we're actually going to, with an upstroke, play the 17th fret of the B string like this. Just like that. Then from there what we're going to do is we're going to start with the upstroke of the 17th fret on the B string down to the 17th fret of the D string 19th fret of the D string then 17th fret of the G string and 19th fret of the G string. So what you should have is something like this. And all together. And I'll play that for you slowly now. Then the second part of this riff starts back on the 17th fret of the B string with an upstroke, then the 18th fret of the B string, then back to the 17th, then the 19th fret of the G string. And we're going to do a full bend, just like that, and then end on the 17th fret of the G string, and then slide down to the 5th fret. So what we're going to do when we slide down to the 5th fret is deactivate our bit commander, so we're back to our clean tone. Then we're going to play three muted notes. I call them chickas. I think everyone should call them chickas. I think everyone does call them chickas. I'm not sure. Anyway. So what we're going to do is three chickas on the low four strings here, the last four, or uh, the D, G, B, and E strings. Just like this. Down, up, down. And then we're going to form the first chord, uh, which is going to be index finger barred on the fifth fret of the D string and fifth fret of the G string, and then your pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. And it should sound like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to play that with an upstroke and then immediately follow that with another chicka, like this. And we're going to do this twice. So all together it should sound like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add our ring finger to the seventh fret of the G string and play this twice. Just like that. So all together it should sound like this. And I'll play that again for you slowly. And 
Then we're going to hit one downstroke chicka in between the two phrases of this. So like this. And then go back into the same phrase. But instead of starting with three chickas, we're going to start with four. So all together, it should sound like this. And I'll play that again for you even slower. And then at full speed, it should sound something like this. So from there, what we're going to do is activate the bit commander again and slide back up to the 17th fret like this. And repeat the original riff. So that takes care of most of all the leads of the song. We're going to head into rhythm now. The rhythm is actually just two chords repeated over and over again. Um, I finger pick them. And what I do is I hide my pick underneath my fingers like this. And the chords are on the D, G, and B string. And we'll play like that. And what the chords are is you bar the fifth fret of the D and the G string with your index finger. Then your pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. And so the first chord should sound like this. So the second chord that we're going to form begins with your ring finger on the D string at the 5th fret, pinky right underneath it on the 5th fret of the G string, and then index finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, and it should be played like this. So for the rhythm of the song, we're going to alternate finger picking between both of those chords like this. And that takes care of the rhythm of the song. So for the bridge of the song, what we're doing is one pattern and just alternating different notes at the beginning of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the fifth fret of the G string with a downstroke like this, and then we're going to hammer on to the seventh fret of the G string like this. Then what we're going to do is upstroke on the seventh fret of the G string followed by a chicka like this. So all together what you should have is this. So what we're going to do from there is we're going to upstroke on the 5th fret of the D string, downstroke on the 7th fret of the D string, upstroke on the 5th fret of the G string, followed by a chicka, hit it once more, let it ring a little bit, and then hit the 5th fret of the G string one more time, followed by a chicka. And all together it should sound like this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to downstroke on the 5th fret of the D string, and then upstroke on the 7th fret of the D string, and then begin the pattern again, like this. Just like that. So all together this section should sound like this. And then up to speed. So from there, what we're going to do is go to the 7th and 9th fret of the G string to start the riff, like this. And then we're going to go to the 5th and the 8th fret of the B string. So up to speed, it should sound like this. So to end this bridge, what we're going to do is play the first half of the riff like this. Then we're going to go back to the 8th fret of the B string and play it with a chicken in between like this. And then we're going to end with an upstroke on the 5th fret of the B string and a downstroke on the 7th fret of the G string like this. 
So altogether, the ending should sound like this. <laughs> And then up to speed, it should sound like this. We're going to slide down to the first fret of the G string, activate the bit commander, and go right back to the original riff. So when you put it all together, the bridge should sound like this. So that is In My Arms. Um, thank you to Guitar World for having me and letting me do this. Uh, stay safe out there during this quarantine. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll figure out a way to answer them for you. Um, and be sure to check out our new record, Nella Vita, on Spotify, YouTube, any kind of musical outlet. I've been Andrew Kine, and this has been Sick Riffs. <laughs>